Jesus rules and reigns forever. languages of the earth how could we ever sing enough for what you did and what you continue to do ever living Hebrews 7 25 to make intercession you're praying for our live stream tonight Lord you're praying for me you're praying for Carla you're praying for Matt you ever lived to make inter how could we ever have enough words Lord Just lift your hands and worship the living God. Yeah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Only for you, well, only for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mercy, 
and guide us into all the truth. I said, will revelation rain? Revelation has fallen like a rain from the Holy Spirit, the one who leads us and guides us into all the truth. We wait for you, Lord. We wait for you. We wait on your Holy Spirit to hear.
gazing on your beauty, Lord, that's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. Woo! Gazing on your beauty, Lord, gazing on your beauty, Lord, it's all I want to do. It's all I want to do, it's all I want to do, it's all I want to do, yeah. Sweet Jesus, tonight, uh, I want to give you guys a quick update. Um, first of all, when I got done Wednesday night, my back was on fire, my shoulders. I laid down and th didn't think I was going to get up. We found out that, um, well, they wanted to test me for COVID so that happened a few days ago because the prayer room here in St. Louis, a couple people had it and I was exposed to it, but I'm here tonight. I'm not out for seven to 10 or 12, we ain't doing that. No, I told Matt, I said, Matt, he said, you wanna do, Dad, you can rest another day. I said, no, I wanna torment the devil and bring pleasure to the heart of my father. That's what I've been doing my whole life. Why would I stop now? But I want to say thank you for all the people praying because people wondered what was going on. Um, yeah, I was, Carla took care of me, 100.4 fever. I started getting chills at night. It was not fun. But you know what? It's only a virus. It's not a devil. Well, it might be. <laughs> I mean, it's not that powerful, the name of Jesus. I believe that you guys praying for me and this prayer worship community made a difference. I do want to really say thanks, and, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. <clears throat> I told Matt, but it's, it's uh, to be honest, I see Lynette's on here, Serena's on here. But dude, because you guys, I mean, I could have been out, I guess they said seven to 10 days. I said, no, I don't want to do that. But uh, man, it was made me weak and you sleep, you can't stop sleeping and all the rest. And I will find out on Monday morning or Monday sometime, you know, and if I didn't have it, I don't care. I'm immune now, buddy. Whatever it was, it was nasty for sure. But we're here on seeking and soaking. Well, let's say Jesus rules and reigns forever. The Corey Asbury song, I brought it back tonight. To you, O oh Lord, I lift my soul. My God in whom I trust, let me not be ashamed. Cause only you can deliver me from the hand of my strong enemy. Let me not be ashamed. Come on and learn it with me if you don't know it. Mm -hmm. To you, O oh Lord, I lift my soul. My God in whom I trust, let me not be ashamed. Cause only you can deliver me the hand of my strong enemy and let me not be ashamed check it out cause no one who waits on the Lord will ever be put to shame hear what I'm singing cause no one who waits on
deliver me from the hand of my strong enemy. Let me not be ashamed. Yeah, to you, O oh Lord, to you, O oh Lord, I lift my soul, my God, in whom I trust. Let me not be ashamed. Cause only you can deliver me from the hand of my strong enemies. Let me not be ashamed. You ready? Cause no. Cause no one who waits on the Lord will ever be put to shame. Cause no one who waits on the ago we started with that in the first 10 days my light my salvation my light my light and my salvation my light and my salvation you are my light you are my light my light and salvation check this out I love this part strengthen my soul and all my hopes in you yeah my strength and my soul yeah and all my hopes in you yeah yeah my strength and my soul yeah all my hopes in you. Do that again. My strength and my song, yeah. All my hopes in you. My strength and my song, yeah. And oh,
Holy Ghost and fire is keeping us alive. Yes, it is. Praise be to God. And when you move, Lord, darkness runs for cover. Because when you move, darkness runs for cover. When you move, no one's turned away. I'm going after revival, great awakening. Because where you are, fear turns into praise. And where you are, no hearts left unchained yeah yeah so calm move let justice roll on like a river let worship turn into revival but bring us back to Just is a roll on like a river. Let a worship turn into revival. Lord, lead us back to you. Verse, verse again. When you move, darkness run. Because when you move, darkness runs for cover. And when you move, Lord, no one's turned away. Because where you are, because where you are, fear turns into praise. Thank God. And where you are, no hearts left unchained. Come on, prophesy and proclaim the now. Come, move, let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Lord, bring us back to So come, move, let justice roll on like a river. Let a worship turn into revival. Lord, lead us back to you. Now in a few minutes we're going to pray because this song is so full of what Jesus did. What he promised to do in the gospel. Check out this second verse, guys. When you move, the outcast finds a family. There's no outcast finding a family anywhere because they're too weird and people just turn them away. And when you move, Lord, the orphan, the orphan finds a home. So many orphans, man. Lord, here we are. Teach us to love mercy. I just want to say, it's not about church. And it's about the kingdom of God or loving Sundays. or no, It's about loving real people that are hurting. You know, I, I want to say this because it's so powerful in my heart. A good friend of mine, uh, I said, bro, how you doing? He goes, yeah, I'm doing all right, man. I said, what do you mean? He goes, well... My wife asked me the other day if I'm depressed. <laughs> wow, I said, how'd that go? He goes, well, no, I'm not depressed. I'm just broken for the broken. How, hello, American church. Wouldn't that be awesome to have people in the American church deeply distressed about the broken, actually praying about it daily? Jesus was the man of sorrows acquainted with grief. 
even a lot of the stuff that's happened the last month would have been taken care of because love would have covered it. Wow. Because when you move, the outcast finds a family. When you move, the orphan finds a home. Lord, here we are. Teach us to love mercy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with humble hearts, we bow down at your throne. Yeah. So come, move, let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Lord, lead us back to you. Hear our cry tonight, God. So calm, move, let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Lord, lead us back. You guys ready? Can you handle the bridge? Here we go. King of all we again Justice roll on like a river, God. Revival, revival right now. Revival. Revival. Ooh. Revival. Everybody pray. 
pray revival, great awakening revival. Stay right there in intercession. Yeah. Revival, God, dear. Revival, your revival. We ask you to spread your glory like a wildfire among the nations, Lord among the nations revival sing it out and start praying everything that you are, all that you are, all that you manifest yourself to be in the earth, Father. Now listen, uh, we're back in Psalm 119, verses 33 through 48. I tell you, I have a new respect for Psalm 119. I I don't know that I ever studied it that hard before because it's so big. But tonight as we begin to narrate this, I'm going to do that old school Mark Altrogi's song, Lord, I Live By Your Word. Because we got to live by His Word, I mean, in storms, in the good times, in the mediocre times, in the hard times. We got to live by His Word. I want to see Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I want to see the thumbs up on it. Lord, I Live By We got to live by His Word. Again, this story's worth sharing that Ryan Megan, my good buddy, Kansas City for six years, teacher, IT, just teching it out. And I said, bro, what, what is the greatest missing element? When he got back from Kansas City here to St. Louis, I uh, said, um, what's the biggest missing element that the American church needs? He goes, Kent, the word of God. I said, all right. Anything else? He goes, well, the heart to actually study it. <laughs> No, I I mean, he's dead serious. I said, okay, because the word, I don't think we quite get it, you guys, that we're going to cross over. Well, tonight we're going to get it because we're we're reading Psalm 119 is the instructions of the heart of the Father for his body, even for the Hebrew people. We're going to see some really cool stuff. I think this is part six. I'm not sure I'll get to much more than that, but. And this is day 92. We skipped a couple of days, but but Lord, I live by your word. 
And Lord, I live. I'm living by your word, God. Lord, I live by every word from your mouth. I'm like the tree by the stream. I'm bearing fruit, my leaf is green. All that I do. I 
Psalm 119, a couple of the keystone scriptures, man, which were so powerful. The psalmist said, turn my eyes away from vain or worthless things and revive me in your way and your words. I love this one. Establish your word to your servant who is devoted to fearing you and worshiping you, Lord. I will walk at liberty for I seek your precepts. And this one is special for me personally because I've had words about singing prophetically in the courts of a king, a prime minister, called upon to sing the prophetic word of the Lord. I believe it will happen. Well, I've been in the presence of really powerful men singing. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings. And I will walk in your ways. I believe that I'm going to prophesy and sing of the Lord's testimonies before kings, for it's all, all over with here. Hang on to that one. That's why we need to pray for more prophetic worshipers, singers, and musicians. Prophetic. Absolutely. What do you got, Carl? I want to shout out to Chetta. I haven't seen her in a while. Wow. And uh, Paul Stern. It's good to see you here with us. Praise God. <coughs> and I, I know we announced last week that tonight, Ariel and Jared, we're going to be doing worship, but until Kent's results come back, we're self-quarantining, so. <coughs> well, and they'll, they'll definitely do it sometime, but uh, we, the whole point is we canceled our trip to Heston yeah, since we're not when we Heston. found out that I was probably exposed to COVID at the prayer room. The place that we're going, uh, Kingdom Life Ministries, uh, there's a number of older people there, and I called uh, the pastor and Tricia and my friend Lisa McMahon. I said, hey, if I made somebody sick to the point of death, I couldn't forgive myself. So 10.30 Thursday morning, we called it. It was a good called thing. It. it was a good Stubborn thing. Stubborn Kent. Stubborn Kent. Yeah. yeah. No, I just, uh, I wouldn't have been able to. Anyway, I was really not doing well with everything else that was going on. I'm amazed right now. I'm sitting here doing this, but I love him. He's worth it. So, well, Psalm 119, Carla, pray us in, girl. Father God. <laughs> We just thank you, God, that you're continually teaching us in your ways, and we will keep your statutes. We will keep them to the end, God. We turn our eyes away from worthless things, and we look toward the areas where we see you moving in revival, God. We put our gaze on, on your reviving, God, in our families, in our communities, in our cities in our states, in our nations, all around the world. God, I know that you're pouring out your spirit, pouring it out even now in Indonesia. God, you're just so good and so gracious, and we love you, and we praise you and worship you with all of our heart. So now teach us out of Psalm 119 again tonight, Father, yes. as we bring it before you in prayer and worship. In Jesus' name, Psalm 119, verse 33. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. O Eternal One, show me how to live according to your statutes, and I will keep them always. Grant me understanding so that I can keep your law and keep it wholeheartedly. This is how we carry on in everyday life. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. I delight in your commandments. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to covetousness. Thank you. Wow. Guide me. Yes, guide me, Lord, to walk in the way you commanded because I take joy in it. I take joy in it. Turn my head and my heart to your decrees and not to sinful gain. Ooh, that's a good prayer, buddy. Cause me to tread in the path of your commandments, for in it I have delighted. Incline my heart unto your testimonies and not to dishonest gain. 
guide me into the paths that please you, Lord. For I take delight in all that you say, God. I love that. Cause my heart, cause my heart to bow before your words of wisdom and not the wealth of this world. Hear it again, cause my heart to bow before your words of wisdom and not in the wealth of this world, Lord, for I take delight. This is my, yeah, this is my delight, this is my joy to bow before your words of wisdom, Lord. This is my joy, my delight to bow before your words of wisdom. This is my joy. This is my delight to bow before your words of wisdom. This is my joy. This is my delight to bow before your words. Come on, lift it up again. This is my joy. This is my delight to bow before your words of wisdom. This is my joy, yeah. This is my delight to bow before the words, the words of your wisdom. Verse 37. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things and revive me in your way and your words. Establish your word to your servant who is gazing upon worthless things and give me true life according to your plans. Verify your word to your servant which will lead me to worship you. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity idols and idolatry and restore me to vigorous God. life and health in your ways establish your word confirm your promise to your servant which is for those who reverently fear and devotely worship you help me turn my eyes away from illusions so that i may pursue only that which is true Drench my soul with life as I walk oh in your paths. So Preserve my life according to your word. Reassure me of your promises, God. for I am your beloved, your servant who bows before you. Drench my soul, drench my soul in the power of your word, God. I love that line. Drench my soul, drench my soul with new life as I walk in your word. Yeah. Drench my soul, Lord, drench my soul with your new life as I walk in the power of your word. As I said, drench my life. Drench my life, drench my soul with new life as I walk in your word. Drench my soul, I love it. Drench my soul with new life as we walk in your word. You drench my soul, oh, I love it. Drench my soul as we walk in your word every day. It's my preserve my life just check this guys according to your word no one can take your life preserve my life according to your we're going to sing this a couple of times preserve my life Jesus said I can lay my life down but no man can take it I believe that it applies to you. Many people on here tonight have had uh, miracles. 
where someone just said, just go ahead and kick off and die, how horrible that is. You preserve my life. You preserve my life. According to your, according to your word, you preserve my, come on, sing it. You preserve my life. According to your word, yeah, 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 you preserve my life. You preserve my life according to your word. And by the way, Brian Simmons in The Passion included this from the Masoretic text and from the Dead Sea Scrolls. It says verbatim in the Hebrew, preserve our lives. According to, that's a big promise. He said, I'm going to take care of you. The verses 39 and 40. Turn away my reproach, which I dread, Lord. For your judgments are good. Wow. Behold, I long for your precepts. Really? Yes. Behold, I long for your precepts. I want to see this across the nations. Revive me in your righteousness. What? Revive me in your righteousness. Uh -oh. Take away the scorn that I dread, Lord, because your actions are just and your actions are good. Look and see, I long for your guidance. Restore me in your righteousness, Lord. Your wonderful teachings protect me from the insults that I hate so much. I long for your teachings, Father. Be true to yourself and let me live, Lord. Defend me from the criticism that I face for keeping your beautiful words, wow. See, I long with cravings for more of your ways. Let your righteousness revive my spirit. And we'll sing it this way. You revive me in your righteousness. Come also to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your word. So shall I have an answer for him who reproaches me, for I trust in your word. May your unfailing love find me, O Eternal One. Keep your promise and save me. When that happens, I will have a good response for anyone who taunts me because I have faith in your word. Oh my God, yeah. Let your love, God, shape my life. Shape my life with your salvation, exactly as you promised. Then I'll be able to stand up to mockery because I trusted your word. May your tender love overwhelm me, O Lord, for you are my Savior and you keep your promises. I'll always have an answer for those who mock me because I trust your word. The message says, You shape my life with your great salvation. 
not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth for I have hoped in your ordinances Jeez. stop right there I want to see people doing this again and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth Lord for I have hoped in your ordinances Think of the people through the years, both Old and New Testament, that put their hope in his word and his ordinances and will rule in eternity with it. So I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Do not take your message of truth from my mouth, Lord, because I wait and rely on your decisions. Wow. Therefore, I could follow I will follow your teachings forever and ever. Don't ever deprive me, Lord, of truth. Not ever. Live video, man. Wow. Don't ever de deprive me of your truth, Lord, not ever. Your commandments are what I depend on. He said, I depend on it. Yes. Oh, I'll guard with my life what you've revealed to me. <laughs> that is so intense, that is hardcore. I will guard my, with my life what you have revealed to me. Guard it now, guard it ever. May I never forget your truth, Lord, for I rely, I rely on your precepts. I observe your laws every moment of the day and will never forget the words that you say to me. I'm gonna guard it with my life, God. What you reveal to me, I'm guarding with my life what you reveal to me. I'm guarding it with all my heart. I guard your word all my life that which you reveal to me I am guarding with my life what you reveal to me I guard it now and for eternity your word your word the word that I've heard the words that you say to me well I guard it with my life with my life God those things you reveal to me guarding it now I guard it forever all the things you've spoken to me I guard it with my life I'm guarding it with my life what you revealed to me I guard it now and for eternity let me not forget let me not forget now this one 45 and 46 take a minute 
and I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. And I will live a life of freedom because I pursue your precepts. I will even testify of your decrees before royalty and will not be humiliated. I have gained this perfect freedom by following wow. your teachings, and I trust them so much that I tell them to kings. I will walk with you in complete freedom, wow. for I seek to follow your every command. When I stand before kings, I will tell them the truth and will never be ashamed. for your statutes which I treasure and the passion says my passion and delight is in your word for I love what you say to me I long for more revelation of your truth for I love the light of your word as I meditate on your decrees it's really almost right out of the Chris McClarty song I love what you say to me God I don't want to miss one word I love what you say to me. I love what you say to me. It lifts my heart, expands my mind. I love, Lord, what you say to me. I love what you say to me. I love what you say to me. It expands my heart. It expands my mind. I love her, yeah. Well, I love what you say to me. I love what you say to me. It expands my heart. It expands my mind every day. God, I love what you say. He's speaking, you guys. I love what you say to me. to me it expands my heart it expands my mind and I love and I love what you say to me and I love what you say to me it expands my heart yes it expands my mind every day I love what you say yeah What you say to me, I love what you say to me, cause it expands my heart, expands my mind, for your glory, Lord. Wow. I'm very grateful to the Lord, you guys. We're starting the new schedule, and I wanted to make sure everybody hears this tonight. Saturday nights are going to 7 p.m. from 7.30. And uh, this is important for a handoff to Matt because the schedule will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 4, 4, 7, 4, 7. So think of 47. So Monday's at 4, Tuesday's at 4, Wednesday's at 7 p.m., 
Thursdays at 4 and Saturday nights going to 7 p.m. So they're all the same. So we're not struggling around trying to remember it. A number of people said something about it or asked about it. So if you do 447, four, seven, that's the five days a week. We've been going. Matter of fact, when we took the break, I, I didn't realize how much Matt and I had been putting out every day to go. We did 91 days straight. <clears throat> and then whatever I have, we'll know on Monday. Whatever I had, uh, there's no way I could even get on a camera and go. But, so, again, we're going to keep our 4 p.m. in the afternoon time, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then Wednesday night and Saturday night. Wednesday night's at 7 anyway. So think of 47, and Saturday night's going to be at 7 from now on. So we're standardizing the times, and we're going to five days a week, which is still a lot. And um, But... Matt and I said, okay, we probably should have a day off, family, other things we got to do. But <clears throat> this has been an incredible ride, you guys. And um, it's a semi-miracle that I'm here doing this right now because if you'd understood, like, how sick I really was, man. And, again, I believe it's because of prayer. And I'm not just gutting through. That's not the way we do it. But Jesus is the healer, and he's carrying us to a new day. I believe that with all my heart. Somebody say amen on that. And Matt's going to take over from here because he can. <laughs> yes, I'll say amen to that. Amen and amen. We are so thankful for you guys jumping on to join us for day 92 of a Psalm a Day Live. Uh, we had uh, two days off there, but we're great to be back with you guys tonight. Uh, Kent felt good enough to get in here and do it and uh, be able to sing for you guys tonight and get in the presence and the flow. Yeah. So uh, if you could hit that like button for me, hit that share button for me, because uh, we want this to go out to as many friends as possible. If you didn't know, we're building an online worship, prayer, and prophetic community of uh, intercessors and people from all over the globe uh, have been joining in. It kind of started at the pandemic uh, beginning, and uh, we've seen amazing things. The Lord do amazing things through this time. And uh, so as part of it as well, we were uh, trying to raise about $300 per stream for our normal budget, which for all the normal things kind of slowed down with all the travel and whatnot, which ceased completely. And uh, so if you want to help support the stream and support what we're doing here, we want to put the stuff out for free. So if you guys feel in your heart that the Lord is, you know, prayerfully consider uh, supporting us and giving in some way, we just so, uh, so appreciate. The, the Lord is so faithful. He's done so much for us in the last two months. It's been amazing. Yes. And uh, we do, we are month to month with, with uh, support and uh, everybody supporting us. This is uh, amazing that we've been able to keep going and doing all this. So you're a part of that. So please prayerfully consider it. We try to raise about $300 per stream, as I said. So if you'd like to do that, you can join us at chman.org. That's the site you're seeing on your on your screen right now, or kentonhenry.com, depending on which platform you want. You might be able to see Kent Henry's name tag right there, which would jump you right over to it. All these are also in the comments and the descriptions. All my Instagram friends can do link in bio or join us on the Facebook or just go straight to chman.org. But you're seeing it on the screen right now. If you click the donations tab, you'll come to our donations page where it's all done safe and secure. Like anything else you buy online, uh, we have monthly support there. We have one-time donation. We also have the 12 campaign, which is saying, hey, I only have a dollar a month that I can support you with, but here's $12. I want to support you for a year. We get enough friends doing that. We're doing this for free for everyone all the time. And uh, it's just amazing to see what the Lord can do with what he's put in our hands. So uh, yeah. rightfully in this position to be able to do 91 straight days with all the audio and the video equipment that we had set up. <laughs> a lot of friends still like to do, uh, donate by check. So if you want to donate by check, you can check that out right on the same page. Scroll down a little bit. You'll see all the stuff you're giving toward. And you can donate by check right there. You can also check out the store of all the worship resources and products that are available on our site. So make sure you jump over there and uh, check out what's on there. You can subscribe right there, as you see, for a 20% off code. You can also uh, donate right there within the store with the donations um, items that are available. Just choose an amount there, and it's all done safe and secure through our store. If you're a PayPal user, you can use paypal.me slash chmin. That's paypal.me slash chmin. You can log into your PayPal account. Do it all safe and secure with the PayPal platform. If you're a PayPal user, a lot of people across the globe have been able to 
connect with us through the PayPal platform. Um, you can also give right there through the Facebook. If you're joining us on Facebook, you can join us and give through the donation fundraiser we have set up each and every month, a new one. So the link is in the comments for you guys right now at the pinned at the uh, in the bottom. They also have com the uh, stars that are in the comments. You can use those and do any amount. You can do the custom amount for bigger amounts and to give those instead of little 50 and 100 things. Those are worth one cent a piece. So 50 stars is 50 cents, so on and so forth. So check that out if you haven't yet on Facebook. Wow. We also have the text giving, which is give 12 in your message box to 44321, just five numbers. And a little strange, uh, but you just put the number 44321 as the phone number and the word give 12 or CHM give, and you will get a link generated right back to you in response that you can click on. It'll take you to your, our giving platform site with Give Lively, and you can give safe and secure with a bank account or with credit cards right through there. You can also check out the Psalms program that we have running at the same thing by putting the word Psalms in there. We also have the Smile program available to us that we like to let everybody know about. If you're an Amazon shopper, please check out the Smile program and whether it's available in your country or region because you could be supporting us um, or any nonprofit for that matter just by your normal everyday shopping. So we like to tell people that that's available. A lot of people don't know. You actually have to go to that uh URL instead, the smile.amazon.com one. You can log in with the same account info, nothing different, nothing new. They'll just give a half percent through all the normal shopping you do. So we like to bring that to people's attention because you could be helping us share the gospel and put worship around the globe just by doing your everyday shopping Absolutely. for paper towels and whatever else you get on there. So check that out if you haven't already. We love your support in that way. Um, we're so appreciative of all the names. Again, I still have to get, uh, we've been a little under the weather here. It's uh, spread around a little bit, but uh, we're, we want to get something put together where we can, you know, scroll down the names of all the people who have helped us get to the through these last couple months and are helping us monthly get forward. Um, we're still looking for more monthly, monthly friends to join us, and uh, we'll keep putting these things out. Like he said, five days a week. Again, it's 4 p.m. pretty much standard, um, except for Wednesdays and Saturdays, which are going to be 7 p.m. That's how you can remember. We're going to take Fridays and Sundays off for our family and rest and all that stuff, but uh, we so love what God did in our 91 days and what he's going to do continuing forward as we go in, in these uh, worship times together, and uh, we'll you know, pull you guys for some other things, maybe um, some teaching, training, some other things that you guys want to see or do. Uh, you know, we're here because we want to exhort the body of Christ and uh, do the most that we can for, for God and his glory. So thank you guys for joining us for day 92. We'll see what uh, Kent has in store. Maybe his voice has something. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. No, I'm going to have him at. I, I need to be smart here. Uh, the fact that I made it through an hour and 15 minutes is truly amazing. And I'm going to have Matt just pray us out. And how many love Psalm 119? Uh, this thing is, I'm getting lit up, man. It's just so instructional. So anyway, I'm looking forward to it. We won't see it tomorrow, but we will Monday at 4 p.m. Yes, God, we just thank you for this opportunity for being able to do as we've been doing over these 91 days tonight and uh, to continue to lift you high, to continue to see you move uh, in and around the globe, God, we thank you for the healing presence that even in our own house we need, God. We just trust and rely on you like everybody does. We thank you that you're coming to heal our bodies today. You're coming to heal Kent and keep his voice safe. God, we thank you for clearing out all the stuff that we can lift you high each and every day with all our friends from all over the world. God, we just thank you for the opportunity to sing out of your word again today. This is the day you made. We're rejoicing and we're glad, God, because we're alive and we're still able. And we are here to give you praise, God. So we thank you for joining us together in this way, for bringing us together with all our friends all over the earth, even that are joining now and the ones who watch this later. We just thank you that you are who you are. And we give you the glory for tonight. We ask that your healing presence would flow. In Jesus' name. Amen. We will see you guys Monday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. See you then.